So this is a video on how I made um, a DIY window cover for a oddly shaped window well. This is a pre-made window well um, by Rockwell. It's got a stone uh, insert. I mean, it looks it's fiberglass, but it looks like it's made of stone on the inside. It's got a step. And I wanted to figure out a way how to um, keep the leaves and snow out, mainly the leaves, because it's not that fun to dig and get in there. And there's a tree right above us, so um, when all I did was I couldn't find any plans online, so I thought I'd post this video. Uh, I took a three-quarter stick, ten-foot stick, of EMT conduit, electrical conduit, and then used this as a template and used a conduit bender. Uh, if you can get one from somebody, it's better because it's like they're like 40 bucks. And then you bend it into place, and then the back section is uh, another piece with a uh, just PVC three-quarter inch fittings. Schedule 40. There's a T, another T, and then another elbow. Uh, put two vertical or horizontal slats where these corrugated. Um, uh, sun panels meet, so they're the strongest here and the strongest there, where they're the weakest. Um, these PVC um, connections work great. Um, you slide them on before you connect, before you finish up that connection, just slide these T's on on both sides. And how I connected them was with um, number 10 3 quarter inch uh, galvanized sheet metal screws that you can get at Home Depot. There's a they come in a sort of a square box, I mean a, a oblong box with a, well, with green writing on it and uh, just sunk one to e into each fitting and then one on the back side and then, you know, randomly, not randomly, but specifically, I guess, kind of up and down this where, where, where it does has a dip. I put a screw in where it had a dip. And, um, it's not hinged or anything, and that might be a future improvement if this thing flies away a bunch, but uh, it, I don't think it's going to, but if it does, I can always put like a two-hole strap on both sides so the whole thing will, will pivot up and down that stays in place. Um, the, I'll show you the first generation of my DIY is this. It's just the same stuff, this sun tough, but I used, you know, the those little uh, connector pieces that come with that come with it, and uh, the downside of this, and I also bought some neoprene exterior screws as well. But obviously, the downside of this is that it's so flimsy, it, it, and it's not contoured. I just, you know, I just cut it into shape, and uh, it, ne it never flew away. Maybe, maybe once it did, I guess, but uh, that was it. The problem was a cat or something or squ squirrel came across it and it broke that joint, broke some pieces. So it wasn't strong enough for random animals to come across. And so, you know, I don't know what this is like thirty, forty dollars. I had to throw it away. But don't waste your time on this. Maybe make one out of something strong. Um, I cut this too. You can use probably tin snips, but I end up using um, angle grinder actually with a cutoff wheel for my four and a half inch uh, angle grinder, and it cuts through this stuff just beautifully. It's a metal blade, uh, and I use it to actually cut the ends of each piece off rather than using a pipe cutter. But it took uh, the hardest part was really bending this. But once you do the first one, buy an extra piece, and if you screw up like I did and you just throw it away. Um, Start at the middle, find your midpoint, and I found it was easier to bend one side and then come back and bend the other one. Don't start from over here and start bending. I found that to be harder because by the time it gets over here, everything is warped. It keeps moving. It's a moving target. Whereas, start at the midpoint and just make your contours, you know, trial and error, go back, refit it, come back, refit it, you know, and just set it on top, and then connect your back piece. Uh, and your T's, and, and then screw everything together, make sure it looks good, attach your top piece, screw, uh, screw those down, that should be it. Hopefully this helps, and you guys can make your own window covers, rather than having to uh, buy one 
if, uh, if your window isn't normally sized like that one.